Hey Blab Dads, we're here in Old Town, Florida. Where is that? That is on the um, Gulf side. It's north of Tampa and um, uh, probably about an hour from there. And uh, so we're by uh, the Swanee River. Actually, we're on the Swanee River right now. What you see behind me, this was our Airbnb for the past uh, two and a half days. Uh, this is a, a, a glamping uh, style which I like a lot. Uh, I'm not into the camping with the tents and the campfire. I mean, give me something like this where um, at least uh, I'm in relative safety from the bugs and from animals. As you can see, it's also on stilts, which is cool too. You can see there's a balcony. We're gonna go up inside in there so we can take a look at it. But I just wanted to go ahead and show you um, just the view from where I am and um, I'll take you down to the river right now. So on this property itself, they have one, two, three cabins that look like that one right back there. And this one right over here. And they have this nice uh, fireplace area. One of three, but this is the largest where um, residents of this camp come as guests can come to this big campfire area. It's pretty awesome. And this is the Suwannee River. So this is a very, very fast moving river. That's at least at this part. And um, I'm coming down to it. Oh, they moved the dock. <laughs> Sorry, I have to be very careful. So this is the dock area. And this is the Suwannee River. This is north and it's traversing. It's going south. Very, very, very quiet. I'm going to let you hear the Swanee. A couple of times I saw the sunrise. It's such a beautiful setting out here. Super quiet. Um, there's this gentleman. Oh, hold on. i got to traverse this again. I don't want to fall in the water. Um, there's this gentleman who lives someplace else, but he has this huge property where he has these three um, cabins, including this birdhouse. Now, they don't have any uh, indoor facilities, so you have to go to this little cottage over here where those boats, uh, boats are, and you can use the uh, facilities over there. But it's along the river. It's super quiet. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to take you to the birdhouse right now. So sitting here in these chairs, looking up at the stars at night is well worth it. Uh, my family saw shooting stars. I saw a satellite. Um, more stars than you see in the city. That's where we live. So it was neat to tell the girls, hey, look, there's more stars in the sky than where we regularly go. So um, you have to come on this dirt road at the end of a paved road. And so as we parked right here, you have your glamping stairs. So as we go up the stairs, you can see inside the birdhouse right now. They've got two ceiling fans. They've got four, three beds. One here, one here, a mini fridge. This is where our second daughter was able to sleep. Um, this large area right here, congregating area, uh, as well as another bed over here. So um, as you can see, out, uh, there's plenty of uh, open window space where the breeze can come in. But if there's no breeze, <laughs> you definitely need the ceiling fans. So let me take, a, take you out to the balcony right over here. I know, sorry, it's dark we shut off the light. So here's the balcony area. Two seats right here. Another seat right here. And that's the view of the Swanee where I just took you. Right down there. That was the stairs to the ramp. So let me turn this around and this is the entrance back into the birdhouse. So uh, this was a, a very, very um, different kind of experience than camping. I like it this way. Um, I know some of you like that. Got to be on the ground in a tent, all cozy. Uh, I don't do that. <laughs> uh, 
I'm more of a city boy and I want to make sure there's no snakes and spiders and bugs and bears coming into the tent. Um, the tent is very, very cramped. I know there's tents that are like super huge, but not many people have those super huge tents where you could just walk around in them. You have to literally crawl into a tent. So I like this glamping style. Now I'm more for the air conditioned, like inside of these cabins, but uh, this is a different experience. We'd definitely come back again, I think more uh, during the time. Now we're talking about July. Um, it's hot, but not as hot as you think. Um, it's pretty damp and humid, uh, but if you have a chance to uh, come here like during uh, the off season, meaning not the summer, like coming back here during Thanksgiving or December would be great because it's much cooler weather. It's going to be less humid and um, yeah, it'd be more cozier. And then you can whip up a fire over here and make some s'mores. But um, yeah, so this is near Old Town, Florida. So find that on a map. It is near, uh, we're near a ton of springs that are around here, Fanning Springs. We just went to Itchituckney yesterday, so if you saw the video, uh, Itchituckney Springs is a famous springs um, that a lot of people go down to. And it was about uh, from where we had to go pick up some food, about 30, 45 minutes. Um, and it's a hop, skip, and a jump. Obviously, you got the Swanee River. If you're able to have a boat or go fishing um, or go paddling, they recommend not to do that over here just because the the water's so swift so you can find another part of the river and then you could probably you know come down right over here and get out um, as your exit point but yeah not bad for glamping so blab dads if you uh, like what you see here on this video uh, if you have a comment is that a gator oh it's a log <laughs> Again, we're in the wildlife. We're, we've got lots of wildlife around here. All right, so if you like, uh, please like. Uh, please comment on what you see here about the birdhouse, about what you've um, seen on this video. Uh, and if you've ever been to something like this where there's some glamping, uh, definitely tell me about it. I'd love to tell you. Um, you can go ahead and message me at blabdad2020 at gmail.com um, if you want some more information about the birdhouse here at uh, Old Town, Florida along the Suwannee River, and definitely subscribe to Blobdad, okay? All right, so we're headed out, and we'll see you in the next location.